This really feels like a week where no one needs me to tell them the world's totally fucked up. But it's Friday, so time to end the week with a bang with Totally Fucked Up Friday. Now, let's just start with some... This story, before I get into it, what it made me think of first is how so many of the comments on YouTube and other online forums are really badly spelled. And the people go, it doesn't matter, it's just spelling, why does that matter? Well, so that to the bloody investment bank type who was supposed to place an order for millions, but misspelled and made it billions, which ended up costing trillions and sending world markets into a fucking tailspin, which admittedly was temporary and more or less recovered by the end of the day. But there's probably a bunch of people got buttfucked by bad deals in the meantime. But that's the market. You know what this really highlighted to me? This whole world stock exchanges, money markets. It's a fucking fiction in case you haven't worked it out. It's not real stuff. Which is how they manage to fuck economies and fuck companies and fuck people's lives. Because they do shit that's not tied to anything real. And someone real ends up paying the price. It's not like a business where you make something and then sell it to get a reward for your labor. It's not like you're providing a service that makes someone's life better and you're paid accordingly. It's just this fucking made up shit. Oh, let's trade derivatives. Let's go into the money market. Let's bet on the futures of this. Let's fucking bet with other people's money where if we win, we get it all. And if we lose, other people are fucked. I mean, I might as well start channeling the crazies like fucking Ron Paul and everyone else who thinks we should be on the gold standard. I'm making more sense every day. I mean, apart from the fact you can't put world economies back on the gold standard without completely fucking everything because everything's built on this, well, basically consensual hallucination of the money markets and borrowing money. Oh, and China's got this debt bought from America and it's swapped over here and it's all going to fall down the heap. It's going to be a fucking Mad Max. It will be the road warrior, the apocalypse, and there'll be roaming gangs with cars and guns looking for petrol and it'll be every man for himself. Oh God, now I'm fucking channeling Glenn Beck. I'm going through all the crazies. But seriously, look at what's actually happening. Like with Greece this week, with the riots, uh, for those who don't know what caused them, basically Greece is among world fucked economies. Greece is royally fucked. And this has that whole fucking money market thing on it with Goldman Sachs fingerprints all over the clusterfuck in Greece. And basically they got told by the rest of the European Union, okay, you have to stop spending money and you have to raise your taxes to really scary levels um, or you're fucked. And the government's gone along with it and the Greek people who are used to a certain way of life that's now going to be taken away from them uh, have been rioting, including fucking firebombing a bank, which sounds really cool and radical, but it was a fucking bank where people worked and they killed innocent people who were in there. Go fucking burn down some fucking luxury penthouses or something. I don't really mean that. I'm just being... It's such a cop-out saying, Ooh, I'm throwing a firebomb at a bank. I'm radical. No, you're fucking murdering innocent people, you piece of shit. Wow, this has got me wound up. So, yeah, Greece is going down the fucking toilet. Guess what, guys? You can't spend money you don't have forever. No one can, which is going to be a real shock when it starts cascading out. I mean... It looks like Europe's going to get it worse. I honestly always thought America was going to get fucked first. But now it looks like Europe is. Uh, we've just had the English elections and uh, all the money markets wanted the Tories to get in. Maybe they still will. No one knows at the moment. It's so fucked up and uneven. So, yeah. Ooh. Lack of certainty. Unsure about the future. That's really what the global markets wanted. So, England's unstable. Greece is fucked. Along with Greece, you've got places like Spain, Portugal, Ireland, to name a few, that are also completely screwed. Um, and so there could be this whole domino of just countries imploding in Europe. And it's just going to fucking spread around the world. And everyone's going, ah, oh, the whole thing about borrowing and running up credit and spending stuff you don't have isn't fucking sustainable. But Australian politicians are right on top of this. Where one of the big stories this week was a conservative politician mouthing off saying he basically wants to follow France's line and ban the burqa. The all over covering that some Muslim women wear. Because it's, well, apparently, apparently, because I'd love to see the evidence, there was a guy staged a robbery while wearing a burqa. Because, oh, look, you know, he's disguised himself. One anecdotal story and you want to inflict something on an entire culture. 
Okay, what's wrong with that? You know what's wrong with that? You won't just come out and say, I want to do this because I fucking hate Muslims and I want to score cheap political points with other bogans who hate Muslims. If you at least said that, I'd have a bit more faith that you are being honest. I do not get the idea that um, we are going to show how we embrace freedom by putting restrictions on what people can wear. Look, if you really want to stand up for Muslim women's rights, don't make it illegal to wear the burqa, because I've met some really intelligent Muslim women who come up with a fairly good reason why they kind of like it. It really, now to me, no, I'm not with it. But if you really want to stand up for Muslim women's rights, well then take fucking action when you've got evidence that some asshole is using violence to force his wife to do that, okay? Use the fucking domestic violence laws that exist. You don't have to introduce insane shit like ban the burqa. Just protect all women with domestic violence laws like you're meant to. If some fucker is using violence on his wife or daughters to enforce that sort of shit, then fucking get rid of him. Put him in jail. Or if he's not a resident or citizen, fucking deport him. And if his fucking family joins in, do the same fucking thing. Stand up and do the right thing. Don't go for cheap fucking political grandstanding, you bigoted pricks. Man, I need to lighten up. So I'm going to bring out the story that made me laugh most this week. It's got a Christian evangelical from the US, one of my favourite laughter topics. Um, now this particular piece of shit has made his career peddling just vile crap about publishing books with how parents can de-gayify their kids and just spreading the most appalling lies about gay people and just vilifying gay people providing support to all these fucking conservatives, politicians and evangelicals who want to demonize gay people. Can anyone guess where this is going? Just, just before I get to it, can you guess? A uh, Christian evangelical dedicates his life to pushing anti-gay agenda. Where's it going? Where's it going? Yes, no surprise, he's the latest in a line of hypocrites who seems to condemn what he actually is. And I cannot get myself in that headspace. I just cannot do it. I mean, I tell lies. I'm cynical. But to do something that's that deeply steeped in self-loathing, I just cannot understand it. Why can these guys not just go, you know what? Some people are gay like me. You know, we should accept that. Rather than this overcompensating, it goes beyond self-denial. It's not being in the closet. It's being the most hateful anti-gay bigot in the world when you're gay. I cannot put myself in that headspace, no matter what. But, again, this guy, yeah, just the actual act of a evangelical anti-gay crusader being gay is hardly even news. But it's the way he did it that really works for me. How did everyone find out about his lifestyle? He went on a holiday with a nice young man who he hired from a site called rentboy.com. That's uh, exactly what you think it is. And just to get in the theme, uh, look at the link down around my balls, fiddle around down there. And there is a really good article that details the steps this guy would have had to go through to hire this guy off rentboy.com. This evangelical, he spent ages sort of going, oh no, no uh, I, I didn't even know he was gay until halfway through the holiday. By the way, that was another line that made me laugh. I didn't know he was gay until halfway through the holiday. Are you going to elaborate at all about what happened halfway through the holiday. It's just, this level of denial and lies just stuns me. Just these repeated cases of people being the thing they condemn. How far does it go? Like here in Australia with Stephen Conroy saying he wants to censor the internet to get rid of kiddie porn. I think we should be looking at his hard drive. And is everyone at Fox News actually a communist? Is that how far this conspiracy goes? Has the world gone crazy? I think it has!
seriously, the world's going totally mad max. It's the road warrior. It's gonna happen. And I'm gonna be the Lord Humongous. Just walk away. Just walk away and we'll end to all the horror.